All right, so at this point, I have my, my dude here, right? He's all modelicious. But the issue is this. Uh, you can see it's it's semi-responsive, but it does have a little bit of responsive issue. Um, if I hit W, we can see the wireframe, all right? Now, there's going to be some higher res and some lower res in areas, particularly areas of detail, okay? But what I don't want is for them to be overly detailed. And the reason for that actually is more of a performance thing. This program is meant to handle a lot of geometry. Uh, Maya can handle a lot of geometry too, but it's not a sculpting app. It's not specifically designed for that purpose. So it actually won't handle it as well as it is in here. Now, depending on how high res your stuff is, you might be able to get away with uh, it as it is, but it would be beneficial to us to actually take this and um, lower the resolution of it. Um, as opposed to where it is now. So like so, certain things, like I can lower this pretty easily. Um, some of this stuff I can probably lower while well, retaining most of the detail I put in there. So what I want you to do is just scroll across, go to Remesh, and what you're gonna do is this. Uh, you can make the brush size whatever you want. Make sure the strength is, oh, there's no strength, okay. Make the brush size whatever you want. Um, go down to Tessellation, make sure that's on, okay. I mean, it should be, because that's literally what it's built for. But uh, yeah, I don't even think it's a checkbox, is it? Yeah. Anyway, uh, what we want to do is remember B and M is brush size, N is the density, okay? So what I'm going to do is you can see the little triangle. That's roughly the size triangle it's going to brush. So it's not going to take anything away. It's not going to add anything. It's not going to do any of that. It's not going to sculpt in any way. It's literally just going to redo the geometry, the size of what I put in here. So I'm going to go a little bit smaller than what's here, and then I'm just going to brush. And you can see I'm lowering it and not really losing too much. Oops. Now you see I lost my line there, right? Okay. So I do have to be a little bit more careful. Careful. Um, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and go N and make it a little bit more dense. Like enough, I feel like that would support it. Uh, that didn't really... I mean, so see how it's really dense right here? So I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. And I'm just going to brush this area here. And that will lower that. And then let's see if we can go a little bit broader. Oops, that's way too broad. Let's go like this. And so for large areas, let's make it a little bit bigger. This is on mirror, right? Okay, good. For large areas, I can definitely get away with um, this more broad brush, right? I don't want to lose too much detail there. Maybe around his nose. I feel like I could probably get away with that there. Um, but like in broad areas, it's actually beneficial if there's less geometry. It actually makes it um, uh, smoother, believe it or not. So I'm going to go ahead and remove all that. Now the nice thing is, is that the, I can kind of... Other programs actually don't have this, or at least not something quite like this. Um, this is actually kind of nice because let's make this a little bit denser because I can more pinpoint um, the density of um, what I want. Uh, it can be a little bit time consuming, uh, but basically try to brush as low as you can go without losing your sculpt. That's kind of the goal. So you see in this eye here, I'm going to have to go a little more dense and let's do a little bit smaller. Let's figure that. See that probably it's definitely less. Let's see if we can get a little bit less. All right. I don't know if we can get. Yeah, see, I'm losing a little bit there. So I guess I'm gonna have to go with that. All right. And let's see if we can get away with this. Will this be? No. See, that's too low. I just want to try and get as low as I can get. That's probably okay. I think I can still see the detail. Um, but you can see like in here, obviously, that's not great. Let's see if I can probably up that. This isn't a super detailed. Yeah, so I can kind of get a little bit more of that. Let's go a little bit wider so I can get all of it. And I'm just going to go through and try to lower the density of my model wherever um, it is possible. So um, you're gonna notice it more or less wherever we like did high resolution like creasing and things like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try to remove it. Um, 
I'm going to end the video here. And then once I've removed all of the extra unnecessary density, um, I'm going to do another video and I'll show you how to export this out um, and uh, go from there. Okay.